Okay, hi guys. So, I have the unenviable task of keeping you guys awake uh, after a long conference. But I hope that you're interested to hear what I have to say today. Um, I'm just going to share with you my journey, uh, our journey uh, in this company called Netcentric, what we're about and where we're going to go. So, my name is Ming and I'm the CEO and co-founder of Netcentric Limited. Um, the first question I think I should answer is who are we and what do we do? I think a lot of people would have heard of the brand Nafnang before. Um, but Netcentric is bigger than that. Netcentric is bigger than Nafnang. Netcentric essentially is an integrated social media solutions innovator. And people like to use jargon, but, and there are a lot of companies within the Netcentric group. So we took a long time trying to come up with the definition of who we are, and this really sums it up. So social media solutions is what we do, and we do it across the entire spectrum. We've got bloggers, we've got, we've got Facebookers, we've got Instagrammers, we've got Snapchatters, and we go into YouTube as well. And we have our own solutions and our own platforms. The third thing that we are is we're an innovator in the space. So, as I mentioned, we're continually innovating in the space to come up with great solutions for both brands and for consumers. So, yeah, these are the two brands that we started out with, me and my business partner, Tim. Nafnang and Chirp Chirp. We self-funded a company with 55,000 Aussie dollars, bootstrapped it, uh, after we graduated from university in 2006. And the beauty of our business was that from day one, unlike quite a number of companies out there, we focused on revenue and profit because we didn't have a fallback plan. You know, there wasn't a rich um, group of companies or funds who would back us up if we failed. So we, we built a company that made money. And how did, our, how did our company make money? Well, Nafnang and Chirp Chirp collectively have a reach of over a million blogs, 230,000 social media influencers, and we reach out to 4.1 million unique visitors. So what we do is we monetize um, independent blogs and independent social media content providers. So if any of you here have an Instagram account, that has a thousand followers and are looking to grow it, come speak to us later because what we can do for you is bring in revenue for you and help in advertise at the same time. So this kind of like gives you a little bit of our journey. Um, $55,000 in 2006. No, not a single bank loan, not a single, single VC, spin all our profits back into the business, grew year upon year into seven markets. And last year was a milestone for us because we successfully listed on the Australian Stock Exchange with a valuation of about 50 million Aussie dollars and we raised 12 and a half million dollars, which is important because if we could do what we did with 55,000 Aussie dollars, then what can we do with 12 and a half? I think that story resonated with quite a lot of big investors and big individuals and uh, institutional people, um, many of whom are based in Malaysia. Uh, and they invested into that story as well. So how does our share price look right now? Not so good, lah. Okay, to be honest. We started out at 20 cents, but now we're at 12 cents. And... I think the key is that every single one of these investors is still on board with us and the two largest shareholders of the company are Tim and myself. We're different from other internet companies. We look to grow a small amount of money into a big amount of money and we're not about big plays. We're not about telling you a big story. We're about just making money. 
So if you're interested in doing that over the long run together with us, then I think our stock and our company presents a good proposition for you. And I'll tell you how we're going to do that in the next few slides. The opportunity that is in front of us is also immense because we know that social media is now a part of our lives. Right? Everybody here is plugged into at least Facebook, if not more. And millennials, for millennials, it is an even bigger part of their lives. So we know social media is here to, to stay and will grow. So social ad spend uh, for social ad spend is actually increasing quite significantly, and Asia Pacific is the second largest region for this at this point in time. So that's the opportunity. Our businesses um, can actually be separated into three distinct teams. The first one is our traditional base, which is our social media influencer platforms of Nafnang and Chirp Chirp. So Nafnang, blogs, Chirp Chirp, everybody else. And I'd like to say that again that the numbers here really count because this is a proprietary product that we have. A lot of social media firms out there don't work on proprietary products. They work solely on solutions or they work on bringing together disparate pieces. But for us, we have, for example, 350 um, bloggers and social media influencers who are exclusive talents to us. So this is a proprietary asset that we have. The second thing that we have is social media production agencies. So this is where the solution bit comes in. Because, you know, we're not just... Social media isn't a dead product. It isn't, it isn't static. It is a living, breathing organism that you need to kind of like figure out how to tease the best result out of. And our social media production um, companies help tease that out of our proprietary products. And the third thing that I'm most excited about and actually running myself is our own uh, platform, consumer-based platform, which is called Dairy. Now, Dairy has a pretty big audience in Singapore and we're looking to grow it worldwide. We're looking to scale in a big, big way. So this conference really is about going billion dollars, right? And dairy is our billion dollar idea. But the critical factor is you're always going to have a little bit of an unsexy locomotive behind that just churns out results, right? But honestly speaking, that's how we do it. You know, like if the funding dries up one day, the locomotive will still provide coal for us to fuel our dreams and fuel our ambitions. The traditional business, again, really is about linking up social media influencers, social media uh, bloggers with clients, right? And also helping them with their social strategy in YouTube. So our blue chip, our client base is made up of blue chip brands all across, and we have 16,500 campaigns across all brands. But how do we work? How do we work with the brand? Quite simply, what happens first is that we go prospecting, or in today's context, I think lots of brands already know about us. Some of you may have worked with us in the past. I hope we have lived up to your expectations, but if we have not, we will do a better job and we'll keep on improving. You come to us with a need. You come to us wanting to launch a product. And we use both tiers of our business to help you spread your brand message across our millions of blogs and our hundreds of talents. But we also help you with the conceptualization of your ideas. Um, how do we tease that re result out of the social media campaign? Because as I mentioned to you, social media is really a living, breathing organism that you need to um, work with, a malleable object. And that's where it's exciting because the outcomes are endless if you have good solutions or you have good ideas behind it. So, the, so with those ideas, the social media influencers help you amplify your brand and your campaign objectives, helping you generate sales, which is ultimately all, what all brands want. And then we go back to the start again. I think a core tenet of our business and the reason why we are successful 
and the reason why we are unique and different also is because we have a regional footprint it, across Asia Pacific. And this regional footprint is only going to continue to grow, especially with the funds that we have in hand today. So, if you are a brand, and today all brands are global or regional at least, and you're looking to tap onto the social media space, and you, you need to find somebody with proprietary products, you need to find somebody with an office in every country, we are going to be that company for you. I would say today, to some extent, we already are, but in the future, we're only going to get better. So what's important to shareholders now is how do we intend to grow? How are we going to take that 12 and a half million and make our company from a $50 million company at a market capitalization to become a billion dollar company, right? So these are our three strategies. The first one is the most obvious and the lowest hanging of fruits. And that is scaling our existing businesses. There's simply so much opportunity even within our current set of businesses that we have not exploited entirely yet. And nobody has been able to do as well as us. So, Nafnang, Chirp Chirp, and our production models, we want to grow that. The second thing is really going into new markets. As I mentioned to you earlier about the Asian footprint. Having that option in the fragmented space that is Southeast Asia, where there are so many complex and diverse challenges, will help us and help our clients and our social media influencers. And the third thing really is looking at mobile and figuring out how to tap into the billions of consumers there are out there. So when we talk about... Wait, wait a minute. This is the wrong title. But the title is actually when we look at our growing our existing businesses or scaling our existing businesses, one thing is quite clear, one reason why we went to the market. We have four core businesses in the two segments that I talked about. And not every single product has reached every single market. So one of the first things that we're going to do is bring each of these products into, existing, into the existing markets that we have. And every single one of these products, in one form or the other, has already generated some income for us. So we know that it's one sure way to grow. The second thing that we're going to do is penetrate the SME market because, you know, those 16,000 clients that we talked about, most of them are, in the, are blue chip brands. Most of them are big brands. But the SME market is huge. There are thousands, if not millions, of SMEs and Facebook, for example, said that 98% of its 2 million customers are SMEs. But before we even target that group, what we need to do is we need to have the full suite out and we need to be in every single country. And then we'll unify it into one platform that SMEs can reach self-serve. The second thing that we're going to do, as I mentioned to you, in the past as well, is really geographic expansion. We've already targeted three core markets, Indonesia, Vietnam, and Taiwan. But our key focus is really Indonesia and Taiwan, and we've already started our offices there and are already getting potential briefs from clients. So we think that it's going to be a very exciting play for us because it's a billion-dollar market. On average, I mean, in, I think in Malaysia, we, target, we get about 3% of ad spend. So you can imagine that with 3% of a billion dollar market, really in 30 million dollar range, which is huge for us. Tripling, quadrupling our revenue. But the one that I'm most excited about and the one that I'm leading myself personally is our mobile growth strategy. And you know, we want to be more than a B2B play. We want to go into the consumer space. We want something, a product, that will be in the hands of every single person in the room, hopefully. The aim for me is that when I walk into a Starbucks, I don't see somebody using just Facebook. I see somebody using a product that I built, we built as a company. 
The product that, we're, that, we're, that we think will help us get there right now is called Dairy, and it's a mobile blogging application. I hope all of you download it. Um, and it solves what I think is a huge problem, and that is even though we have so many social media services today, all of them, all of them do not help complete the human experience. All of, them, all of them do not really help us in our relationships or help us in any big way. Well, Dewey aims to do that because I think human life is all about stories. Human life is about the things that we want to do and the things that we say, that our, our dreams, our aspirations, our hopes. And when you sit down with your friend in a coffee shop, if you haven't met them after a long time, what you do is tell them your story. Well, Dewey helps you do this easily in the new age. People don't meet up anymore because we're so busy. But sharing your story is integral because that's our legacy and who we are. Now, with very little money, we've already got 500,000 downloads and we have 600,000 active users monthly. Um, it's something that we're looking to grow. 2.1 million unique posts were created in 2015. 9.2 million comments posted, and 2.5 million likes were garnered. These are some of the demographics. Now, the opportunity that is presented by Dairy is immense. And the only way you're going to understand it is if you download it and try telling the, your story yourself. There are so many inspirational stories that I've read that has touched me, and you can see the interactions between people. And I know that this app is actually going to help us get somewhere big. So with that, I've basically come to the end of my presentation. I hope I've given you a little bit of a better idea about what Netcentric is and what Netcentric does. Um, we're a company, social media company that's here to stay. And I hope to see you when I'm a billionaire. <laughs>